Hey guys, so I've been asked by a viewer to do reverse script. There's really a lot to this topic, I could talk about it for a very long time. But because of time constraints, I'm gonna try to keep this uh, to be very basic. This is dependent on you having very solid fundamentals, so I would consider this uh, an intermediate throw. I suppose this could be your first throw, but uh, why? Uh, so, th there's a lot of ways that I do this, uh, there's a uh, ton of ways to make it like go straight, so I'll talk about uh, other than something kind of like this, on this uh, x-axis, zero degrees, called this kind of like a reverse grip, this kind of a reverse grip, this, I'll call this like deep reverse grip, uh, a couple of variations of uh, no spin from here. Really this isn't any uh, trick. Uh, the knife doesn't really care if it's upside down. Your job is to create energy and to transmit it to the knife and to have that energy go in a line. One method of uh, getting into this could start by standing close to the target and releasing like this and then gradually moving it down. Uh, or you can just jump in and just understand how this works. If you throw a wave, this is uh, very easy. You can just throw it without uh, doing anything with your hand. Just let the knife fly out of your hand. Now start releasing like this. Find a way to make it work. And then so on and so forth. You could do that. Uh, this one here, I sometimes throw like this. I sometimes throw like this. It's sometimes like this. Probably find one way uh, to release at a time. We'll start to see that uh, they have a lot of similarities and use them to throw ultimately like this. It's the same thing as uh, this kind of throw. Uh, it's not a different technique, it's just a different uh, grip. So if uh, you're doing this uh, side face reverse grip throw and it's not giving you the aesthetic you this one that's important for you so if you usually stand uh, hip square stand hip square if you stand side face step one you can do like that and step two releasing like this uh, relying on the index finger a little less so try going like this and then you may have to play around with uh, angles you know you get you get to the point where releasing it here and what you'll see in a lot of my videos is I release open hand so I'm, I'm starting here but I'm releasing like that if you if you use this method of learning it then you have to have hand discipline down uh, when you get to the stage. So just kind of concentrate on keeping it closed. I opened it. There it comes. Kind of, kind of open still. A lot of variations for uh, reverse grip. You know, like I said, I'm not going to be uh, getting into these things. If you like one of these more than another, uh, it's important to just kind of play around with it. Okay, so we'll do uh, the first one. Uh, these concepts, you can play around with them and mix and match uh, as far as like hip axis. I have to come up with names uh, for things, otherwise I'll forget them. The bazooka, uh, because we have the knife in front, it ends in the front, uh, and the path is uh, kind of circular, so it looks kind of like that. A little bit better. For, for this one, I have my hips uh, square, but also to the south. Uh, it's still sort of a, I call this a north south, but it's for the uh, y axis. Looks like that. I'm using these leader knives. If you watch my videos, you'll see me doing this reverse grip with both shuriken and butter knife. Uh, 
down to like 20 gram, it doesn't matter. On the heavy side, uh, I think around 300 something is the most that I've done, but uh, not because I'm against heavy knives, it's just uh, not what I have. So the release for, for the bazooka, the knife uh, comes out like this and it's a side release I've opened up. So the next release I call this a uh, rudder grip where because the motion is just on this axis and we're not actually uh, adding a circular component but it's just kind of a loose uh, grip and just like that. Side release, I think I tend to do a little bit more. You can incorporate your hips in a, in a different way. Uh, but essentially I throw it exactly like I throw my regular um, nose spin like this, with a knife like this, and then maybe it flexes here. You're throwing with a Fedin grip, essentially low grip here. So here I, I release with my hand a lot, you'll see uh, open. Uh, I think conventional wisdom is you, you should release with your hand uh, closed. So this kind of uh, north-south is powerful with uh, gravity. And then uh, hips, we have this kind of fist with the hip. And, uh, and so in your hips, like if you know how to throw sideways without hips, then minimalist, like I like stuff like this. You can do this at any angle. You can do this up high, real low too. That wasn't that low. You can do a circle and go up. So here, I play it up. So whether you throw conventional push or pull, uh, just play around with the knife and then you'll find that uh, you can do a lot of the same stuff. If you throw a wave exercise, just like when you start uh, throwing. And you get something like that. Go to uh, like no hips. world of possibilities uh, with the reverse grip. So the way I, I see it, it's like driving. Uh, for those of us that drive, uh, mostly going forward and sometimes people feel uncomfortable going in reverse or for whatever reason. Uh, but the two things are uh, related to each other quite a bit. If you understand how to move a car in reverse, uh, you can do quite a lot of impressive things with it, like parallel park or whatever. So anyway, it's the same thing with uh, the reverse grip. So there you guys have it. So really just all I'm doing is I'm doing wave throw with teach uh, martial arts and then it's maybe a style, right? but I uh, have 10 students doing the same style will look different uh, using the same principles so I mean, it's kind of the same thing. People would say pick one set of knives and then stick with it. So if you want to go against that convention against them and uh, throw different things, uh, do so at your own risk because I will admit that I would be a lot more accurate if I stick with one set of knives. Hey guys, so if you found that useful, uh, give me a like, uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and then uh, let me know in the comments if you hit your first. And I'm gonna keep uh, exploring this throw. Uh, it's a favorite of mine. Uh, Check out my friends, Jeff and Jenny's coffee company, Tireless Coffee, they made this. Isn't that cool? No spin. Bam. Check them out if you're into coffee.